is to find the power of thinking. How you think determines how you act. If your thoughts are right, your actions will be right and if your thoughts are wrong, your actions will be wrong. Most of the actions you take in life are the product of your thoughts. People who do good think good thoughts and people who do evil think evil thoughts. The first way to change your life is to change your thoughts. But it is important to know the different factors that influence your thoughts. What influences your thoughts? First of all, what does it mean to think? To think is to have an idea or opinion of something or someone. To have an opinion of something, you must first see it, and to have an opinion of someone, you must first see the person. Therefore, your thoughts are influenced by what you see. For instance, if you see someone stealing, you will automatically have an idea or opinion of that person. You would think that that person is a thief, so what you see influences your thoughts. Your thoughts are also influenced by what you listen to. For example, if someone tells you that you are shy, you will automatically think that you are shy. Many people think negatively about themselves due to the negative things that others tell them. I personally know some people who think they are stupid and useless because that is what their parents have been telling them since their childhood. Therefore, they grew up with low self-esteem. What their parents told them affected the way they think about themselves today. That is why you must be very careful of the things you listen to. You must protect your thoughts, or your life will be in danger. Your thoughts can either improve your life or destroy it. Many people make bad decisions in their lives due to negative thoughts, some even commit suicide or refrain from taking actions on their goals due to negative thoughts. Think about the reason why you are thinking about what you are thinking about. Do you often feel like most of your thoughts don't come from you, and you cannot control them? This is a mystery, and it means that you are not your thoughts. If you were your thoughts, it would have been easy for you to control them. I want you to think about the reason why you are thinking about what you are thinking about. For example, if you think about the things that you don't want to think about, think about the reason why you are thinking about these things. I know this sounds difficult, but it will help you know more about yourself and your thinking process. Furthermore, it will allow you to find out the source of your negative thoughts. You must know the source of a problem to solve the problem. So, until you know the reason why you are thinking about what you are thinking about, you can never control your thoughts. The main reason you think negatively is simple. You often see negative things and listen to negative people. Think positive. You must think positive to have a positive life. But positive thinking and actions go hand in hand. Many people talk about positive thinking without mentioning actions. If you think positive without taking any actions, your thoughts will remain thoughts and never turn into manifestations. For example, you are looking for a job and think that you will get it but don't apply for it. How will you get the job? Your positive thinking would be useless in this case. According to Neil Francis, the author of the book Positive Thinking, positive thinking is about creating possibilities, and then being better able to assess which ones are realistic and achievable. So, your positive thoughts must be realistic and achievable. For example, thinking that you are immortal will not make you immortal. Or thinking that you can become a billionaire in one day will not make you a billionaire in one day. With all, positive thinking must be applied in various situations. Even when things seem to be going wrong in your life, you must think positive. Your situations don't define you, you are more than you think you are. I know it is easy saying than done but the question is, how can you develop the habit of positive thinking? The first way to develop a positive thinking habit is to read books and articles on positive thinking. The more you read about positive thinking the more positive you become. You become what enters your mind. Moreover, you can only overcome evil with good. Reading about positive thinking will wipe out your negative thoughts and replace them with positive thoughts. Do not just read once about positive thinking but regularly. 
The second way to develop a positive thinking habit is to praise and compliment yourself regularly. How do you feel when someone praise you or compliment you? It makes you feel good, right? Unfortunately, people will not always praise you so, you must do it yourself. Congratulate yourself whenever you achieve a goal or a task, look yourself in the mirror every morning and say positive things to yourself. This will make you more positive, boost your confidence and help you achieve more in life. Keep this in mind, you are what you say you are and not what others say you are. The third and final way to develop a positive thinking habit is to stay away from negative people and surround yourself with positive people. You cannot make it, it is too hard. This is how negative people talk. The quickest way to fail and become negative is to surround yourself with negative people. Who you surround yourself with determines who you become. If you always hang out with people who don't believe in you and always tell you negative things, you will lose your confidence and become negative. And once your confidence is gone, you can achieve nothing. Stay away from negative people if you want to become positive and successful. Do not be emotional when it comes to friendship. It is better to end a toxic friendship and succeed than to keep it and fail. Nonetheless, your parents or other family members can also be negative and in this case what should you do? Well, you should spend less time with them and not share your goals with them. Surround yourself with positive people and you will become positive. Right living begins with right thinking.